Game five. Hi, and welcome to Donor's Box. I'm Janine. I'm Vince J. And I'm your boy, B. Scott. All right, so it looks like the Cowboys lassoed the Buffalo this week, right? <laughs> Man, <laughs> Romo is <laughs> no mo, or is he giving you some mo? How about he gave you a little something this week, but next week I'm sure he'll apologize again. <laughs> he is the, I mean, this week he's hot, next week he's not. Then he's not, not, then he's hot. But he's so apologetic, though. I don't even care about that. I just he's want He's polite. To, I really don't even care about him, really. I, I, I'm, I'm just thinking that he needs to be traded next year. That um, your, your boss, Mr. Jerry Jones, will find, figure out a way to get someone new in that QB position. The only thing I'm worried about is, do you draft that person? Or do you mm -hmm. go find him? Somewhere else in the league. You go find them. Dallas doesn't have the luxury of wasting any more years on a quarterback, on experimenting with a quarterback. Okay. So what so you who? need to, you know, right now it, it's wide open. With all the quarterbacks going down this week, you got enough chance that you're going to look at a oh, whole bunch of folks. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think that you just see next year. But I, I do think that Tony that Romo's days, Maybe. Tony Romo's day, Danny O's available. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There was a Danny O sighting. <laughs> I had a Danny O sighting this week. I think they had Danny O once before. I don't know. I think he, I think he was there one year. Or was that wasn't the year he ran to the safety. Was no, that was the Detroit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, moving on. Um, we're going to talk about the Falcons game. So, was it a oh. bonehead or a brilliant call on the Falcons game, Sonny? What do y'all think? It ended up being bonehead, but it was. Uh, I think it, it, it took grande cojones <laughs> to Dude, make that, was that call. The dumbest move. In history Only because it didn't NFL. work. The man tried two previous times on fourth down, fourth down and longer than what he attempted, and made them both. Go with the momentum. I agree with him. The, don't put the ball back in Drew Brees' head. I line, don't care if he was on a one-yard line. Don't give the ball oh, back no to Drew way. Brees. It absolutely... Dude, you, you may as well give it to him. You well, give it to the kicker. Then don't give it to Drew Brees. You My point was, kicker. I said don't give it to that. Drew Brees. If you <laughs> give it to the kicker, because he gets one shot at love. If he misses it on first down, what happens? You get the ball back. But if one dude, it was on the 30-yard line, he wasn't going to miss that. He getting paid $650,000. But he did miss earlier. Dude, he's on a 30. He wasn't going to miss that. I tell you what, it turned out to be a bonehead call. Mike Smith, I applaud you for having the cojones to even oh, try. My <laughs> Man, all I can say is he won't lose his job over this or anything, but he needs to really think a little bit smarter about his team. His team is not the team of last year. Last year, I would have tried that. Maybe. I would have thought about it at least. This year, ain't no way, man. No way. It's a divisional game. The main reason you shouldn't. The main reason that you should because you no, want you to kick win. you the ball downfield. And put the ball in Drew Brees' hands. And say, let's go. What is cameraman Carl doing? <laughs> move on. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, tell us to move on. It's my gosh. All right. <laughs> well, moving on. Um, make no bones about it. In a battle of the birds, who saw Mike Vick being outdone by a skeleton? Skeletons. I don't know how you caught that mm -hmm. one, That's all I'm saying. Sheer, unadulterated genius. I mean, I'm not new oh, to this. I'm true to this. If y'all watch my, <laughs> if you watch my show, then maybe you'd catch some of the hints I put. I can't give everything to you. But, yeah, I called Skeleton. I saw things that probably a lot of people overlooked. I the, saw the, the Philadelphia. ordinary man is what you're trying to say. I'm saying that I just uh, saw my mortals. I but call it what you are. I don't want to belittle you or any means, but but you know I, I you know it is what it is. Oh the wisdom! Oh the wisdom! That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh. Feed me, feed me more. No, oh, what I really saw in the know. game is I saw Mike Vick struggling. Arizona has a decent secondary. I saw Mike Vick struggling, which meant that they're going to be a lot of three and outs, mm -hmm. which means defense is going to be tired. Second half. Whoever they played, it just happened to be Skelton. I just happened to know the quarterback that was going to be out there. Whoever it was was going to be able to take advantage of that in the second half. I can give you props on that one. I, I didn't see that by any means. I, I think I think he was owned by 1% of the leagues in the and NFL. And you were that one. That would have been, that been it. The oh Lone Ranger. <laughs> oh, I stand crazy. alone at the top, by the oh. way. 
It's lonely up there. Right. Could someone join me? <laughs> Doubtful. Try. Him and that inflated head is in the same place. Uh, in space. That's why you're so high up there. All right, guys. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Was that the bell? <laughs> Yeah, we should probably turn the volume down. Uh, Heck, mute it. Or, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. In five. All right, so we're going into week 11, and this is the part of the year where the tough men are made, and we can see that bodies are starting to break down, and we got a thumb here, a foot there, and, I mean, these quarterbacks are dropping like flies. Yeah, I mean, Big Ben, mm -hmm. thumb. I didn't even see it happen. Well, you know, I think he was trying to hitch a ride to the sideline. But anyway, oh let's talk about Mike Vick. Gosh. In his game against the skeleton, I guess the skeleton took a couple bones from him, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I mean, broken ribs? Yeah, two of them. Who cracked them? I think it was a guy trying to make a sandwich out of the wings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, two yeah, piece. Just, two um, piece with a biscuit. He, he did not look good <laughs> in this game, and it could have been because of the... Uh, it could have been because of the, the rib thing, but I, I, they it, look, I mean, without, he just looked a mess, and I don't know if it was because of Deshaun or if it was whatever it, it was. was because of Deshaun. It was because of Deshaun. You know, you can, went out. you can play, <laughs> you can play them straight up any way you want to without Deshaun Jackson in there. He's a threat anytime he gets the ball without no, him in the game. Not this year. He's a, he's a threat, whether he acts on it or comes through on it. He, he is still a threat anytime he gets the ball. The whole year. I'm so ready to cut the dude. If, if you, ooh, you want trading? About that, mm -hmm. <laughs> trading to me tomorrow. No, man, we won't do that. We won't talk about that. One. But uh, so I'm, all I'm saying, <laughs> it depends on who you're giving up. Well, you know, make it light on yourself. Okay, okay, so moving so on. How do you think that, so how do we think that all these injuries are going to play out with all the matchups we've got going on this week? Um, the first matchup we can talk about is the Bengals and the Ravens. Ooh. Oh, my rookie of the year. Dalton? That would be him, one of them Dalton boys. The yeah. Dalton boys. That's 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 definitely. He's about to meet Ray Ray. For the first time, I don't think he's gonna like Mr. Uh, Mr. Ray Ray. I don't think he's gonna like that at all. Well, not many people do. I mean, that's not the only Holate Nata. Can you say Nata? Yeah. Okay. It, he's not gonna like. T Sizzle. Yeah. He, yeah, it's gonna be a few people that he's gonna get a chance to meet. Uh, reading is fundamental, so stay away from me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I don't think he's gonna have a good game by any means. I think all. he's gonna be surprising. And I think the I think old Flacco's gonna see a couple of uh, pick sixes too. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what the uh, old Flacco playing against Cincinnati's Flacco. playing some Flacco. surprising. Flacco, Flacco. Flacco. Right. Flacco. Yes. So right. so, so but Cincinnati's playing some great football. Great game against Pittsburgh this week. Fell short. But, you know, you can rebound against the Ravens because this right now is a three-way tie in that division. Mm -hmm. So, I like Cincinnati's chances here, uh, especially with Flacco. With Flacco. If he throws a pick six, that may be the, the equalizer. Okay, well, I think he can end up throwing one or two himself is the key. Andy? Yes. He's not – I mean, he's, he's – he's, he's a rookie. He's a rookie. That's my whole point. And he's, he's a rookie. And he's about to see one of the best defenses – he saw one. Yes. He's about to see the other. I agree. So. I agree. I, I just, I'm just, I just, I'm just impressed with Andy Dalton. Oh. Okay. Six and three, man. Hmm. Six and three. Six and three. Yeah. How many quarterbacks in the NFL Coming can in claim the that? Rookie. How many long-term Tony Romo? Oh. What's your record? Uh, right. It ain't six yeah. and three. It's the opposite, I think. Uh, well, it's close. Okay. So Andy Dalton, yeah. a rookie. Rookies as quarterbacks uh, as a whole. We Mr. talked about that last week. Cameron McCall, what is the Dallas Cowboys uh, uh, record right now? SUC. <laughs> Three and Speaking six. Of the Cowboys. <laughs> Let's talk about the Cowboys and Redskins okay, matchup. Into that. Redskins, Cowboys, just history. Really no relevance in the game. It's it's all based on the Cowboys and Indians that you talked about <laughs> in the opening segment, Lasso and the Bulls and Shenanigans and, and, and all of that. Shanahan, yeah. He's He's, he's off his rocker. He is definitely on the hot seat, dude. If he doesn't turn this thing around, 
early part of next. I mean, I think he's safe through the end. You think? But next year, if it hasn't turned around by week three, mark my words on Look, this, by week three, he is. Shanahan's already at a desperation point. His team is falling apart at the seams. The team. guy's running out to the running out to the tailgate parties asking anybody if they want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not for real. I'm for real. They, anybody can play running back right now. Man, if you can if you can make them ribs like that, bro, I need to put a uniform on you. <laughs> I mean, I was planning on playing. Yeah, I think Why you not? Could. I think you could. <laughs> I think you might be able to hit that uh, hit that A gap. Yeah. You know. Go shoot straight up the middle. Let's Other than play. that damn terrain, what are you gonna do? Grossman? Yeah. Grossman or Beck? Who's it gonna be this week? Uh, is, does your grandmama got a um how's her back right now? Because I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Granny, I think I think it may be yeah, time. She might get a chance to, to get in there herself. So. <laughs> the uh, Eagles and um, yeah, the, the Eagles, Eagles and the Giants. Eagles and Giants have Probably the best game. Probably the best game. I think hmm. Eagles, I know the record is what it is, but this being a division, this is where it all balances out. Let's the go dream. back. Let's go back a year ago. NFC West. Right. Oh, right. So that change should change everybody's whole perplexion on how you look at football now. You're right. Because you do not have to have a winning record to win your division and possibly get a first get that first you know, game, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I yeah. mean, uh, the home field. Yeah, that's right. so that's first and right. that's what's happening in the East. Okay. They're going to knock each other off and it's ultimately it's going to come be, down. It's only going to be one team out of there. Fact. Right. And it's going to be the one with probably with that eight and eight record. Yeah, it's, it's got to be like that. Well, I mean, the Giants is holding the edge right now, but they're on that downward descent, I think. Mm-hmm. Chargers and the Bears. Bears showed me something this week. It is stood up, and and uh, Devin and, Hester stood up. Oh my gosh, yeah. But I'm but I'm saying that defense has been taking balls away, and what is um your boy Rivers doing all year? Leading the NFL in interceptions. Giving it away. I gotta go with the unreal. Bears. Gotta go with the Bears on that. And quickly, we've got the 49ers oh. and the Cardinals. Oh man! Oh. You know what? I'm let me be. Let me be. <laughs> let me be completely honest. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm absolutely going with the 49ers, but I I, I smell a real Alex Smith sighting in uh, uh, among the horizon. It's about time. It's gonna be about time because no. I mean, we it's week 10 or 11. He can't. He he's, he's feeling so confident now. He's smelling himself. Yeah. We're about to see what's going to really happen with that. Hold it down for me, baby. Hold it down. We'll see about that. Um, Coming right back, we've got fantasy for you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Get that that trophy out. Get me put my name on it. (laughs) Well, start again. We're at time total. All right, so guess who's coming to dinner this week? Me. <laughs> He's yes. playing the best. <laughs> you step up to play uh, the best. You know what? So, I, I don't think it could have been any better than this, and I don't. It wasn't scripted. What's Vince scripted? and I. It, though. Vince and I are in two leagues together. That's right. Uh, one, I'm absolutely dominating. I won't talk about that one. But then the league that we have for the owners' box is. We play, coincidentally, we play each other. In both leagues. This week. In both, this week. Throw both down. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be a throw down next on the week. set. Next I'm interested week. to see. And speaking of which, I mean, this is usually when we put together our little wager of Snicker bars or um, this this year. How about we just move that on up to um, some wings, some Hooter wings. Hooter wings. I'm on. Okay. I'm with it. Okay, so we're gonna do. It's a theme in this episode. So, so we're gonna do some. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do some Hooter wings for the winner. Easy we're enough. Do a, we're gonna do a dime, and, and dime piece on that. That'll work. Okay. It, you know what? And I don't know Sharon, I, I so don't sure. ask. You're absolutely right. I want my wings, and you don't be asking me for Jack. No, no. Let me ask you. How are we gonna do it if we split? If one league we win, one league we don't. Let's do like like fantasy football me, does it. Then you'll buy me something. Let's do points. Right? Aww, how cute. <laughs> that wasn't that nice. I share a ring with you. I share a wing with her. What we do? How about we go to points? Overall, now you probably don't want to do that because my team let's is. Let's just do it. Oh, okay. So, so okay. So let's do points. 
You want to do the point? Okay, I got it. I got the point. Okay. All right. You heard it here first. I haven't been beaten. I haven't been beaten all year. We are gonna get down waiting for He's done. Them ballers, them steel town ballers is going. And come to see, come to see them Niners. It'll definitely be interesting to see uh, the outcome of this all. Mm-hmm. Myself, I, you know, next week. <laughs> I haven't been doing the greatest as as I probably yeah. could. Spoiler. I appreciate but, the win. Know, Thank you so much. I needed it. <laughs> it's time you play spoiler the rest of the way out. Yeah, I didn't even look at that team. I'm like, oh, I'm playing Janine. Whatever. See, that wasn't right. <laughs> That's not really Jay, that that wasn't right. <laughs> y'all see, maybe I'm gonna step up next couple weeks. So y'all don't know. Spoiler. <laughs> All right, well, let's before. talk about um, our waiver wire steals. Oh, yeah, let's get um, stuff. For a quarterback, we've got Matt uh, Leiner. You're going to take Matt Leiner? I'll take him. Okay. I, I, I'll second that one. Uh huh. I'll second Matt Leiner. He's always right, so. Well, right? Matt Leiner this week is on a bye, so <laughs> um, I guess taking him now on so a bye <clears throat> would be the be- see where we are. <laughs> best time to get him. Okay. Um,. Your boy. Oh, yeah, the skeleton's in your closet, baby. <laughs> John Skelton. Oh, my God. Vince Young, my boy. Yeah. I, I think grand. that. If, 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 if Vic ain't playing. I think Andy, Andy Reid would be making a big mistake by starting Vic. You already blew it last week by making the decision that you made with Deshaun Jackson that cost you a divisional game. It cost you a game that's, that's making you slip in your division. Now, here you are second week. Mike didn't play good before the rib injury. Definitely didn't play good after the rib injury. Let him get healthy to carry this thing out. Let Vince come in. Let him get all the reps and let him play this week. All I'm saying is you got to now see what Vince brings to the team so that you can tell if you want to keep him this year, next year. And it's a perfect time to do it. Okay. That's a, the season's done. Yeah. It's over. They still got a rainbows chance. That's it. I mean, you may as well just throw that. All everybody clear the benches. Let's see what we got. Remember the what NFC we West. Uh, we got one more uh, quarterback. We have Danny O. Danny O. Danny He's a sighting. Oh. Pick him up. He played. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're down in. You, Did you look say well. I mean, Painter. They all terrible now. There, man. It's, I don't. Take the water boy in Indy. That's the only person I take. Man, I saw him throw a 60 yard bottle. <laughs> nice. He had a nice release on it. Okay. Well, let's move on to uh, oh the running God. back, the running back uh, waiver wire pickup. Um, I think I'll go with Murray, uh, Maurice Morris. Um, you pulled him off. Bernard yep. Scott. Oh, I'm going to stay at home. I know you are. Kendall Hunter. I know you're going to go there. And. Um, Donald Brown, I picked him up as a reserve. He's probably out there available in a lot in, a, in quite a few leagues. Pick him up like him. 10 points. He's going to get the lead. He's obviously the number one running back there with Joseph Adai out. And I think when Joseph Adai comes back, he's still going to hold it down. Still take the water boy. <laughs> <laughs> take the water boy. That's all he said. Mama said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all righty. And uh, for wide receivers, I think I'll go with uh, Laurent Robinson. Oh, my God. Nice. Move. What a monster. That was a phenomenal game. I think mm-hmm. Tony Romo. No Mo. He gonna go to him some Mo <laughs> if you plan on doing anything at all. Uh, Keep finding him because I don't know how this guy kept getting open and the balls he was the catching. Dude was like I, six five. So I mean that's a flexible. Run, go reverse. get it. Exactly. Run, go exactly. get it. Um gonna go with um Vincent Brown and Sammy. Ego. And Denarius like, Moore. <laughs> Denarius Moore. Oh, that dude is a beast. With Carson Palmer the having thing, a field day. The only thing about Oakland is I think you can take any one of those wide receivers and still do and still do well. With Carson making everybody live. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he's he he's 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 definitely part Maybe of my who's your mama, he's, but. he's definitely part of my uh well, who's your mama by the way he happens to be his favorite receiver. But he's part of this uh miracle whip club to me. He spread it out. Oh, yeah, he is. spread it on the that bread, is. buddy. So, I mean, you know, he's I, I got to give it to Carson is doing his thug. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, we're going to see what's going to go down with that. And we've got our tight end pick uh, with Ed Dixon. Everybody else is taking Ed Dixon. I went out there and I saw that he's available in probably 60% of the leagues out there. Oh, wow. 
And uh, with Baltimore, Wacko Flacco, he's found him a couple times and uh, looked at him over the last couple weeks, and he's double digits. Okay. So those are our wave wire pickups. Uh, stay tuned for Twitter talk coming up. All right. We're right back. <laughs> That's a power supply for that one, guys. Mm, it's inside of the <laughs> magic box. Rolling. Well, I'll put it up here for you guys. I don't really like Man, read it. It's not like it. synced up right, so I have to. It's okay. fine. All right. Ready? Okay. Wait, oh, sorry. Are we, are we rolling? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, can we start over? Sorry, I didn't. We had no idea. Yeah, I was like, uh, the when time. did you say something? Well, after he told me to scoot over? After he told you to scoot over. Ain't nothing there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, rolling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, our first question on Twitter Talk yeah. is from at Adam E. Lawrence 80. And I guess it's not really a question, but he says he is the definition of screwed. He drafted J. Charles, M. Austin, mm. R. Wayne, F. Jones, P. Rivers. Never had such horrible luck in fantasy. Dude, that is the worst what luck think? ever. I, I tell you what you do. Auto draft. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. He must have done that. <laughs> no, that's not an auto draft. Oh my he did God. that. Charles, Austin. Wayne, oh my God, Wayne. I tell you what, you're almost as bad as the Madden curse. Oh, you, you're not right. You're not lying. Everybody hurt. Adam Lawrence, eighty. You are. Uh, <laughs> I think you work for. I think you work for EA Sports. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> you are the definition of screwed. So is absolutely sorry, correct. Man, you are the definition of screwed. Trade the best person you have right now is, is Rivers. Trade him and get everybody. Wow. Get everybody. Him and. Uh, Reggie oh, yeah. Wayne, he has no quarterback, yeah. so that's pointless to having him. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's, ooh. And I see he must be a Cowboys Austin, fan. Austin, I mean, you might be able to trade Austin and get somebody. But you got to get him back though. Austin's not playing. My, I understand that, but somebody might think about him for the future. Carl the cameraman is a Dallas Cowboy fan. Hit him you up. Take him. You <laughs> take him. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. All right. Well, um, our next. Twitter talk comes from uh, Rob V Fantasy. It says Lance Ball will get the call if McGahey can't get his hamstring ready by mm-hmm. Thursday. It's a good option if you need a running back. By Thursday? That's not going to even happen. Mm. No I think he was questionable uh, right after the game. He could have gotten gone back into the game had Lance Ball something happened to him. McGahey was ready to go back in. Uh, I do think that Lance Ball probably will get more carries than, than expected, which is not good for me because I have McGahey. Yeah, there's no way that um, McGahee's coming back on three, four days rest with a, with, a, with a hammy. Well, remember, he only played one quarter, and then he rested the rest of the game. So give him another day. Sunday was a day. I think he's done, yeah. man. He's, give him another week. He's not, it's too soon. If it was Sunday, I'd give him, I'd give him a uh, – I would say that it would be a game-time decision. It's not even close. Uh, Lance Ball's probably not going to be the best option for you because TiVo's going to get any runs that McGahee wouldn't That is hit. true. That is absolutely. He'll get you two passes and still win the game. Right. <laughs> That's just the craziest thing. Have you ever heard of any? In the NFL? No. Guess what? It's not for law for Tebow. I agree. Tebow, whatever I agree. Game is. He's a winner. Not for law. Anyway. Alrighty. Well, that's all the questions we have for Twitter Talk today. That's it. So that wraps it up for Twitter Talk, and that wraps it up all for right. the show tonight. Wow. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm Janine. I'm Ben J. And I'm still the league leading B Scott. And it's not gonna happen no more. <laughs> well, we <yeah>! Bye. <laughs>